Hey guys, we're here with Carrick uh, to talk about the importance of following the installation guide's recommendations for how to mount your engine control module or ECM when you're looking at laying out your engine bay for your repower project. So Carrick, what kind of things do we need to watch out for and why when we're laying out our own projects uh, before we get too far into our build? Right. So as you know, when you start doing any new project, your engine compartment gets pretty full. So you start to look for where can I put my sensitive electronics so they are safe and I don't get stranded on the side of the road. Some main things to consider is if you look at your ECM on the top, it has cooling fins. Those need to make sure you have adequate airflow around the ECM such that it doesn't overheat. Number two would be vibration. The installation manual talks about dampening. So any sort of like rubber dampening on the mounting bolts will prevent excessive vibration from damaging the sensitive electronic components inside the ECM. Uh, third would be orientation. Orientation, there's some kind of orientation maps in the installation manual that tell you these angles are okay, these angles are not. So you need to make sure that you orientate your ECM such that the it fits within the guidelines. Those guidelines are there for, as you see the wiring harness goes down, this water will shed in this direction, for example. Water will not shed in this direction. If water gets down into your connections, you can actually cause corrosion and potential failure. Yeah, just sitting water is, is not a good thing. So we have seen a few installations, uh, whether it be online or in person, where we've seen this mounted really close to uh, the EGR valve, for example, on the back of the engine, and that's one of the hotter components and areas of the engine bay. Uh, so I would recommend not turning these into heat sinks in the opposite direction, right. uh, which that can happen. Or we've seen them tucked you know, behind the, um, uh, the wheel well or the fender well a little bit to where if mud were to get through there, a lot of water, it could clog up these uh, cooling fins and then completely uh, negate the ECM's ability to cool. Uh, so really pay attention to that because you don't want to be stranded. Uh, a lot of you guys have 4x4s, four you're going to see a lot of uh, different terrains, you're going to see a lot of high shock load and things like that. So look for those isolators, look for how to mount it to keep water out of your uh, wiring plug, and look for the best and cool place to get air moving across these fins.